Alright, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my first devlog for my uh, Bone Lab Pool Rooms map that I'm working on. Uh, today we're going to cover the overall scope of the map, uh, what's currently in it, as well as uh, what needs to be added before version 1 is released. So yeah, come along. Alright, so before we get to the pools real quick, I just wanted to show a little snippet of the starting area. You actually start in this sort of sewer location. You have to work your way into the pool rooms. And I'm not going to spoil most of what's going on around here. But I do want to demonstrate uh, this map is going to have physics puzzles on a similar fidelity to Boneworks or Bone Lab, where you have real physics elements that are preventing you from getting places. So, for instance, we've got this door jam here. And there will be a kind of escape room esque vibe as you're trying to figure out how to solve these puzzles, finding stuff around the room. Of course, in this case, I'm just going to cheat to avoid spoiling it. Like so. So you've got that sort of satisfying physics-based element to uh, solving puzzles around here. Okay, now moving on to the pool itself. You'll eventually make your way down here. I'll have a nice little musical sting that plays as this swings open. And you kind of get your general view of the pool. It's a little clouded from waterfalls. I'm not sure if I'll adjust that yet or not. If we walk on down here, there's this sort of empty space here. This is eventually going to be stairs and ladders for like a high diving board. That'll kind of come out around the waterfalls. It'll go over a deeper end of the pool here. Uh, for now, let's just take the zip line down. There's a few bugs with this design, but I feel it's it's about good enough. It's essentially using an animation to move a point, and this handle is uh, jointed to that point, so it has a very strong spring force pulling it over there. And after it drops us off, returns right back up to the top. Or if you're down here already, you've got a second one that you can use. Now over here, this is a good example of just about how detailed I want to make things, or at least uh, certain areas, because of course, being pool rooms, there's a sort of liminality aspect where you don't want to over-decorate. So we've got our nice little ball game in here, all your relaxing chairs. I've got a whole bunch of posters that I'm making. These are all generated using DALI, so it's uh, AI image generation, just for that kind of uncanny nature to it, you know doesn't look like it's an actual photo or location in the game, but it does kind of fit the vibe that I want. It's uh, It nails that uncanniness kind of accidentally, actually. We've got uh, screen space reflections as well. And as you've probably seen, this ball here is actually floating. Uh, so this is a, a whole water physics thing. This is all built off of Boogabug's uh, Gravity Zones from the Library Electric mod. And this is a library that all modders can use. And then we've got some uh, tweaks to it to make Water Zones. And these are these are tweaks that have been implemented by uh, Carry On and On. So as you can see, we've got splashing, we've got floating. And this pool isn't the best example, but it is just deep enough that we can swim. Kind of do like breast stroke there. You'll see a better example of that later. And this ball can either fit in the nets or the hoops. So you can play some fun games there. All right, so moving on to the slides, you can of course take a zip line and that will actually bring you all the way up to the top. Or you can use these spiral staircases to come up here. And you may notice this spiral staircase is slightly inspired by a uh, by a pretty um, viral render by Jared Pike. Some good uh, pool rooms artwork right there if you want to look into that. Now I'm not sure you'll get the sense of scale in a video here. Oh, now I may have forgot to add a collider up here. <laughs> I was doing some tweaks on the model, but the slides should be fine. Now, I think the best slide to show is probably going to be uh, this blue one here. 
Now, of course, you can either crouch down these slides, but my favorite uh, method is to just ragdoll down. If you leave arm control on with the code mod, you get a little bit of control still. And as you can see, it's going to slowly bob us up and we're just going to kind of hang out on the surface. You can swim. If we get a little closer to the floor, you'll see we've got our whole water fog thing going on. You can actually get swimming pretty fast. And I'm eventually going to have ladders and staircases and stuff coming in and out of the pool. Uh, as well as some attractions in the middle that will float quite evenly. And the reason I point out that it'll be even is there's a few limitations to the uh, to the gravity zones being used to make this possible. So if we get some gym blocks, for instance, you'll see it's going to float up quite nicely. But if you but if you put weight on it or you move it around. You'll notice it's really floating based on where it's touching the water. And so there's a few oddities when it comes to uh, bigger objects or objects that you might want to actually sit or stand on. So I'm going to have some special buoys and I'm going to have some special floaty toys that you could ride down the slides, but you mainly uh, would want to use them down here. And I'll use some config joints to keep them nice and level. Now, this has actually brought us to the next little area here. So you may have noticed we've got this giant fountain pillar, and it's not really got anything on it yet. And that's eventually going to have a climbing course. So over here, I've got our first few holds. And these are a good example. I've fairly... I've tuned these pretty finely. So you can hold on to them in many different ways. It's actually pretty fun because the feet stick to the wall, so if you hold underneath... Of course, it's not doing it now, but uh, if you hold underneath, sometimes it looks fairly realistic, if you're familiar with climbing technique. So we got our big grippy holds, and we got our smaller holds here, which you'll see I've got pretty good hand poses for. Now, one thing that sets this aside, a lot of climbing courses in Bone Lab, your grip strength uh, is basically infinite. It won't ever peel you off the wall. But what I've done here is if you lever yourself too sharply or if you aren't holding on very well your body weight can even pull you off but it depends on uh, how good of a hold you're holding so these ones are pretty good you can trust them with quite a bit you could probably jump and grab on although you see my hand did slip there so you do have to be careful you probably won't catch yourself from falling with these now if we move on to these holds, these are much more finicky. You'll see if I try and do like a one-armed pull-up, I'll slip off before I'm even halfway up. Two-armed can do a little better, still quite dangerous. And of course one of these, you are not going to want to support your weight and move very much to the side or you're going to fall off. So these will be all color-coded routes. Going up this nice big pillar in the background, and I'll probably have some wipeout style elements, like little boxing gloves coming out, little poles to swipe you off. Um, overall, this room is really more of an attraction, like a theme park than anything. And then as I expand the map, which I'll talk about in a bit, it's going to be uh, a lot more of a eerie liminal atmosphere without over decoration or too many activities. Alright, so what do we need to add before this is the first major version, so 1.0 basically? Uh, well, I'm basically finishing on polishing up the room, I've got some UV mapping to do. That whole uh, kind of lounge area, just a couple more machines to throw in there, like Music Machine for instance. Got some tweaks to do with the slides, because you can fly off the sides on a couple of them. Which, I mean, you, you, could, you could argue that that's a feature, but... I'd like it to be consistent. And then we got quite a few attractions like the aforementioned diving boards to make. I want some sort of uh, sumo wrestling platform up top, which if you're familiar with the water gun mod by uh, Bobacorp, that could actually be pretty fun up there. I want some sort of like DJ booth up on the side. Basically this room is going to focus on being for like the ultimate fusion mod party. So play multiplayer with your friends, just 
hang out, do all sorts of crazy stuff. And that's going to be 1.0. It's going to be this chamber, but feature complete. And then after that, the overall scope that I have is I want to continue updating this map for a very long time and just keep growing and growing and growing. It's going to be modeled out in uh, chunks that load as you enter them just for performance. So starting from this room, we've got all these little doorways on the sides and it's going to branch out into like a liminal space maze. So it'll start out with pool rooms and the further out it gets, the theme will slowly kind of change just to keep things interesting. And throughout the maze you'll find more chambers uh, similar to this one or entirely different from this one. Uh, all with different attractions to check out. And then there's also going to be a whole bunch of spawnable unlockables that you can find. So like those little capsules that unlock items for you. Uh, so a good example of that is these climbing holds I'm making. You're going to be able to do the climbing course. You're also going to be able to find the unlockable for the holds. And you'll be able to spawn them in wherever you want. So you'll be able to make your own climbing courses in, in this map or in any other map. It's going to be entirely up to you. So uh, just kind of keeping things interesting like that. So as far as map progress goes, um, this is feature-wise about half done. But I don't think that it's half done in a chronological sense. So I've got a bit of learning to do to figure out the rest of the stuff here. It's probably going to be a couple months or something like that. It could be more, you know? You're never, never too sure when you're learning, right? Um, but at that point, version 1.0 should come out, and then I'll start working on future versions here. Alright, so that's about it for uh, this devlog. I'm not sure when I'll do the next one, probably uh, closer to this version being finished, just to kind of show where things are at, especially if things start taking a while. Uh, if you want to see some more devlogs and maybe some VR gameplay, uh, subscribe to the channel. I know I want to check out, there's like some recent VR support for BeamNG Drive. There's also some experimental builds for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades with uh, the new character loadout, uh, which is still work in progress, of course. And I'll probably make videos or live streams or something like that. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out, and I'll see you around later.